We're going to do a versus competition on three different gimbals. Now we have this gimbal. It's very small, cheap to buy on Amazon. That's a hardware one. You don't have to worry about batteries. And we have this one. It's a little bigger version of this, a little different design you can see here. And then we have the Smooth Q3 electronic gimbal. Which one will win? So we're going to talk about some of the things that pros and cons of these. Well, this one came in, it looks really neat. They, great design, you can see they did a really good job on this. Look, it has brass fitting under there. So that should last a very long time. It has nice rubber up here at the top. It's aluminum, lightweight. The counterweights are easy to put on. You just unscrew them to put them on and very easy to set up. One of the things, one of the cons against this is if you see this piece that comes with it, which is nice, you can just screw it on and put your phone in there real nice. But the problem is uh, down here, the screw is too far in here. And this screw that you attach it to, see right here, it won't go in, it, this barely one thread gets on there and it just falls off real easy. So this is actually not even working. And I did put my phone on here, my phone's so big, uh, it fell out, so I, I don't trust this thing, nor would I use it. You can buy one of these. These are definitely, uh, I use these all the time. This is my favorite, and it's one of the best selling on Amazon, too. Uh, and you put your phone in here, and you twist this, and it locks it into place. It has some nice rubber up here. Definitely the best. I've been using this uh, type for years, even on a tripod. I did put this one on here and was able to get it balanced. It's okay, we're gonna try it out. This is not my favorite. As you can see right here, as you move your hands, see that? If you try to go down, as long as you're keeping it level like this, and if you move down, it's fine. But if you move your hand up, see how that hits it? So sometimes you might uh, try to go down like this. And then if you could see, you gotta be real ginger with it, because if you, if you move it to, it's just gonna kind of swing around there. So. I mean, I think this would work for somebody. Really nice quality build, cheap price. And you can easily see right here, it has a uh, level, so you can help level it when you're setting it up. But I don't think I'll be using this one. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So the build quality is carbon fiber, which is beautiful. Look at that. Ultra lightweight. The heaviest thing seems to be the, the rubber on the handle. So I guess if you wanted to, you could actually take that rubber off, but it sure is nice because it's real tactile and grippy and gives you a good feel, easy to carry. Uh, it's not that heavy at all. The mount for the phone is mounted up here, so it's real easy. Just put your phone in there and you're ready to go. This one's very easy to balance. All you do is screw this in right here, and then from here you can take and undo these. And, and look at that nice aluminum they used on here. This is top quality made. And then you can open this and just move this back and forth and then put your weights on down here. And then you can undo this one and move this up and down. Very, very easy to set up. I've seen some people that said that it was hard. It took up some time, but it seemed pretty easy. So we're going to try this one also, and then we'll try this one over here. Now, I really have no complaints about this one right here. Everything uh, fit together. All the screws worked. So... So far, so good. And if you look at this bearing in here and how this is all aluminum, and look at this beautiful bearing, and there's no play in it. You don't hear any squeaking. It's just it's so smooth. So really high quality uh, craftsmanship on that. So they did a good deal on that. That's the SF04. And then we have the Smooth Q3. This is pretty neat, easy to set up. Uh, when it comes in the box, you do have to uh, take consideration. If you see that, see that little plastic piece right here? When it comes, it comes, sorry about that. When it comes, it comes locked, so you have to kind of click it, hear that? A lot of people are read on there that they were trying to use it and it wasn't working, so just click that. That's just to, keeps it locked into place for shipping. And then you open this bolt or nut, and then you slide this up and tighten that back down. That's it charge it and you'll be ready to go. This one's ultra simple to set up. All you do is put your phone in here and get it in this, you know, is in the center in here and that's it, you're ready to go. The one complaint I do have about this so far is if you look in here, 
uh, that's the top of your phone and you're gonna have your phone landscape or sideways. So on my phone, the power button and volume up and down rockers are on the side. So it hits right in here. It's almost like this isn't cut out enough. So the buttons hit on here. Luckily on my case, the buttons are sunk in. So I think it's gonna be okay, but I, I, I don't like that about it. I don't, another thing I don't like about this, see how you go like that and then put your phone in there. Um, it, this seems like it needs to be bigger to, for bigger phones, especially if you're using your case. It just seems like it's too tight. If they would have put this type of mount on here, that would have been uh, so much better. So those are some, one of the things I don't like about it. Uh, it does come with a stand that you can screw into the bottom, which is uh, really awesome. And it just flips out so easy to use. Uh, but we're, well, the main thing that we're going to be focusing on in this video is how the gimbal itself works. We're going to be walking up and down stairs. And that's the, the main focus on this is just, hey, which one of these would be better to use? You hear some people, they say they like this one better because, you know, there's no batteries, it's mechanical, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot harder to break down. And then also they say that, you know, it can be smoother, it's more natural. And they say this gives you more of a mechanical feel. So you'll be the judge of that when we do the video. We're going to go up and down the stairs. We're going to do some flybys in the apartment here. And then we're going to take these out and run up and down the street. Because yeah, I think that's the real test. Because when you're running, it, the cam camera's going up and down, back and forth, rolling, and then uh, up and down the Z-axis, which is really, I think, really hard to do. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna, our first test will be with this phone that, I have in, that uh, we're recording this with. It's a Google Pixel XL4. The first, we're, we're gonna do a flyby around the apartment. We're gonna go up the stairs, and then we're gonna uh, run outside with stabilization turned off. Now, the, this Google phone does an incredible job of stabilization. So the first run we'll do with stabilization turned off, then we'll do a run with the stabilization turned on, and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna do the stabilization off with these, and then we'll do the stabilization on. So you'll get to get a good idea of how these are gonna stack up. This is gonna be our first run through. This is with the Pixel phone by itself holding in the hand walking around, and this was with video stabilization turned off. We'll do a walkthrough, we'll go up the stairs, and then we'll go run, and we'll come back and do the same thing with video stabilization turned on. All right, we're gonna go up the stairs. All right, we're gonna go down the stairs. And now we're gonna go out and run. Okay, we're gonna run. All right, there's a run test. We're gonna walk back. So this is holding in my hand. My arm is close to my chest, which is supposed to help not move a lot. And I'm trying to be as gingerly as possible, but I'm just walking like normal. Okay, so that is our run with stabilization off. We're gonna go back and do the exact same thing with stabilization on. Okay, now we're with the phone again. We're holding it in our hand and we, we have video stabilization for the phone on. All right, we're gonna go up the stairs. We're 
want to go down the stairs? We're going to go outside, do our run, and then walk. All right, here's our run. Okay, that was our run. We're gonna do our walk back. And then we're gonna do the same thing this time with the mechanical. See how that does. Okay, we're gonna do this one first since it's already set up. And this is, we're gonna do with the video stabilization off. So I'm gonna mount the phone and we'll come right back. Okay, we're back, we have it mounted and we're gonna try it with the video stabilization off. All right, sorry, the handle is hitting the top part. So when you go real low like this, it's a little harder. You have to get in position. All right, we're gonna go up the stairs now. And when you're turning, you kind of have to use your fingers just to gingerly turn it. One of the uh, things too about this, so right now we're gonna go downstairs. So if we wanted to point down, we'll have to pull up on the back of it. See that? I don't know how good that's gonna look. But see now that we pull up on the back of it to look down, uh, it's gonna have bouncing up and down because we're actually holding it. It's not being held just by your one hand with the, with the handle. So now we can let go, now it's floating. All right, so let's go outside. We'll do our run test. So now you can see it had to let go with one hand. Now it's kind of floating around. I get, with my left hand, I have to uh, continuously turn it like this. And like I said, if you want to look down with this model, uh, you can't. You have to lift it with your hand. And now that you have your hand, you can see it's uh, going up and down. So as, as long as you uh, are real gingerly with it, I think it would be fine. See, we'll go left. Now let's see, let's see if we want to go down. Now I'm actually having to hold it. So it's still pretty smooth. All right, well, we'll try our run test and see how smooth it really is. Yeah, as you're running, the thing's wanting to spin on you. So you have to hold it with two hands. So we're gonna walk a little bit and just see how smooth it is. And we'll come back, we're gonna run a little bit more. I'm gonna try to hold it while I run. It's kind of hard though, because it's, it's flipping all over the place. So this is walking. We'll do one more run and uh, we'll try to hold it this time. And you can see how it moves around. Uh, if you hold it with your left hand, you can kind of just very gingerly to keep it from spinning. Because what's happening is the bearing on there, it just kind of spins around. So this is really neat, but it's kind of taking some work. All right, I'm gonna try to hold it. I don't know if it's possible. Yeah, it's almost impossible to hold this thing and run. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with this. I mean, I think just for like moving around and then moving your hand on it. We'll, we'll have to see how smooth this comes out. This is just walking and with my left hand, I'm rotating the 
the carbon fiber tube to move it around. So you can move it up and down. I don't know how smooth this is. And this is without video stabilization on. So it does seem to make a difference. You just have to be uh, really smooth with your body and your motions as you're turning the carbon fiber rod. All right, we're gonna pause this, take video, st put video stabilization on and do the same test. Okay, we have the carbon fiber on again, and this time we have video stabilization on. And if you look at it, you can kind of, if you can see out the TV reflection, you have to hold your left hand right there. And then when you hold your left hand, you can turn it. If not, it just kind of, you can see that it just, it's like a, a ship or something. It's just kind of uh, floating around. So with this one, you have to really use your body and then you have to sit here and turn this real gingerly and you see if you go up and down. Uh, so it takes a little effort. Uh, like trying to run with this thing it would be impossible because you're trying to hold your hand and run. Uh, it, it'd be really hard, especially if you're going to do a long distance. And my goal is to run a marathon with one of these. So there's no way this is going to work, but it looks like it would work uh, just for small shoots, you know, or quick shots. All right. So here we go. We're going to do the same one. And with video stabilization turned on the phone. Sorry, the handle is hitting it. Yeah, it's, it's going to take some some work getting this used to this one. So on here, as we're going up the stairs, you still have to hold uh, the shaft, the carbon fiber shaft, and then you have to like tilt it up. And when you do that... And again, when we're going downstairs, if we just went downstairs and just hold the handle, it just looks straight. You kind of have to hold the back like that. And as you're going, it looks like it's putting vibration down through there. And then you have to lift it up so it's, it doesn't self-stabilize. I have used a electric gimbal before, and uh, it seemed like it was a lot easier, actually. I mean, I do like this, but I don't know. It's like a lot of work. All right, we're gonna try the run test again. This is with video stabilization on the phone. Try to hold it. Oh, yeah, I got my hands out in front of me. It's almost impossible to run. Yeah, this is, I'm not, I'm not digging this. All right, so here we go. We're going back. Yeah, walking's not too bad. You can kind of hold it. But you can see it kind of floats around. I'm trying to hold it really steady right now. Yeah. Yeah, this, I don't know. This just seems like it's... Like I said, I remember using a... The electronic gimbal and it just seems so much easier like it does so much easier all right we're going to pause this and hook up the electronic one and let's try that we'll try it first without stabilization and then come back and try the other one like i said there's this does have a lot of features on it it has a light has different modes that you can go into uh the only mode that we're really going to do is just, like I said, for the gimbal. And the other thing that we want to find out, uh, I'm going to run nine miles with this and see the endurance of it. It's supposed to last 10 hours. So when you press the button on the back, it'll show you the charging by these bars. So we'll run, you know, like an hour and a half and then come back and see, you know, how discharged it is. Because, uh, you know, see if it'll make the whole marathon, which is 26 miles. It's going to uh, take about four hours at least. So I don't know if that thing will make it. And that was the reason... I, I was originally looking at these, uh, these types, 
is because at least you don't have to worry about the batteries. Uh, they're pretty solid. You know, they have to worry about it breaking down. But man, are they a lot of work. All right, we're gonna pause and come back. Okay, now we have it mounted and we're gonna see what it has in this uh, electronic gimbal. I don't know if you can see it in the reflection of the screen. It's pretty easy, just move it back and forth and it does the rest. Now with the case on, it does fit in there and it's not hitting the buttons. Um, now, if you can see the handle, the handle is is small. It's almost like if, when you go to McDonald's and get one of those kids' ice creams, it's like it feels like you're holding one of those. I wish it was a little bigger, and I've seen some other people say that. It's not a huge thing, but uh, it just does feel like it's a little small, like you like might fall out of your hand, but no, I mean, not t terribly bad. Uh, but that's it. You just put the phone in there, turn it on, and it's ready to go. It's It's that easy. So we're gonna do our same test. This is with video stabilization off. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna go upstairs. Now this does have a joystick on it where you can, you can move it up with your hand um, or it'll automatically go up if you use the joystick button. So yeah, same as here, if, if we wanna go down, you can push this down or just push the whole thing down with your hand, uh, which is not gonna work or you'd have to use a joystick. Now, when you go to use a joystick, this is what I was talking about. This thing is so small for your hand for some, it might be fine, but if you have bigger hands, it might be a little hard. And then at that point, you just click the joystick and point towards down. And then as you're coming around, you're going to want to, because it's still point down, you'd, you'd want to kind of, you'd want to come up like that. So pretty easy. It takes just a little finesse to get used to. All right, so now we're going to do our run. We're almost done because we're going to, our next one is going to be with, so this is with video stabilization off. And then our next one will be with video sta uh, stabilization on. So here we go. We're going to do our run. And for this one, which is cool, you don't have to hold that, try to hold that stick. Okay. There's our run. Pretty easy. We're going to walk back. Oh yeah. This thing, I'm telling you, I love it. I mean, even it's, if it's uh, so twice as much as the other one, it's just so easy. You stick your phone in it and you're ready to go. It does all the work for you. So especially for running, like I was saying, if you're going to uh, be doing a lot of running or action, it's almost like you gotta have one of these. All right, we're gonna pause this, turn on video stabilization and do the same test again. Okay, we're back. We have video stabilization on, and here we go. And when you're walking around, it's just automatically panning by itself. I'm not pushing any buttons. The only time I feel like you really need to push buttons is when you're like going up the stairs. So I'm just moving it up and down and it's keeping it straight forward. So like now we're going up the stairs, even if I lift it up, it's still not gonna point up. So then at that point, you'd have to, with the little joystick, just push it up, which is right there on the front. And then when you got towards the top, you could push it again. So we're back to the stairs, so we're gonna have to push the joystick so it looks down. We're pushing the joystick as we go. And then once we got back over here, we could start leveling back out. So as you can see, it's kind of pointing down. So we'll need to point it a little, little more up. And as I'm turning the, we'll take a look at that when we get in. I don't know if you can see that on this car window in the shadow. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, as you turn it, see how it keeps it straight. If you go forward, yeah, amazing job. Okay, this is with video stabilization on. We're gonna do our run.
This is a pretty good sprint too, so just give you an idea. All right, there it was. We'll do our walk back and wrap up the video. We'll do a little panning over here on the porch and then wrap it up. We'll do the nine mile run, check out, see how the battery lasts, and that'll be the end. We'll do some panning over here. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you like this review. And it, if you're trying to figure out which one to get, I hope it helps you. For me, the electronic gimbal is definitely, it's the only one I would be able to use to run with. There's no way I can hold this and, and keep it from spinning. Uh, this might be good if you're, uh, especially if you get the hang of it. Um, and this one, uh, I don't know, that's, it's, both of these are well made. But uh, I just, I wouldn't be using this one. I might use that one, but really uh, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, and I don't know if it's this particular one. I had used one in the past and the handle was bigger. It was just a bigger unit and it just seemed easier uh, to use for me. I'd love to hear what you think about these. Mm -hmm.